I think it is still value tech, even though it's up 36% this year. So this is a direct beneficiary of return to the office. And I don't mean that you need to work in the office. People just needed to be able to get back into the office. So as we do more and more Zooms that and, and remote meetings, that puts a huge strain on networks. Companies need to invest in the networks. We think that Cisco should grow their earnings in the 10 to 15% range going forward. We think that the share price should follow. Again, it trades at 17 times. So I think you've got probably 10 to 15% returns for the foreseeable future. The way Steve said earlier that he has the, the big stocks as compounders in his portfolio, this is a compounder in our portfolio, a long, long-term holding. Um, let's get to AbbVie. It was named a top pick in the pharma space over at JP Morgan. Um, Jason, you, you've got this one. What do you like about AbbVie? Yeah. Really like Abby. I mean, dividend yield of 4.32 percent. Obviously, it's been a great winner this year, up over 21 percent. But I think the big deal with Abby is they have a really strong pipeline. They're diversifying away from their Hemira uh, drug, which has been their top revenue producer. So I, I really like what they're doing in the blood cancer business. Uh, so yeah, it's a great name here. You know, especially with that yield, uh, it's very attractive. I want to get to Weiss. You actually started two new positions. In biotech, uh, Michael Yee was on the network of Jeffries just uh, recently, I think last week or something, and he said about biotech this year there was a, a buyer strike. I think that's sort of putting it politely <laughs> when you take a look at the troubles it's had. Why did you yep. do this? Yeah, and M Michael's a good analyst. Mm -hmm. I've spoken to him many times, um, although we disagree on the direction of Moderna. Actually, it's not true. He thinks it goes up. He knows kind of hold. Look, the reason I did it is because it's been a terrible performer this year. So I bought the XBI and I bought the BBI. Uh, one's smaller cap, one's larger cap. And I think that they don't go two, row, two years, and I've looked. They don't go two years of down years, and they don't go two years with such poor performance in a row. But I didn't buy it because of the calendar. I bought it because I love what's happened with biotech. I don't like what happens with, you know, the R&D pipelines of Big Pharma. They've been notoriously poor capital allocators. And what they've been doing is they've been buying small biotech. So that'll make the whole group lift. I do think there's been a lot of issuance. I don't expect that issuance to continue, so less supply. So I think the market's very well set up for biotech to have a great year next year. Yeah, Carter Worth of Worth Charting saying uh, just today, just this morning, that biotech's putting an important relative bottom to healthcare. So watch this one in 2022.